multiple watches are in place ahead of Hurricane Lee. And so we will be talking about all that is going on with the hurricane out there. And we have another disturbance, 97L, which has become dominant of the two invests that is given a much higher chance to develop as we head into this weekend. And before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important video. Okay, guys, so I hope you're doing really wonderful. And so let us get things kick-started with Hurricane Lee. So as we look at it on satellites, here we can see it. It is looking pretty defined as a hurricane out there, but it is slowly weakening, still a dangerous situation. So it is sustaining winds of 105 miles per hour down to Cat 2 status, and it is moving to the north-northwest at 10 miles per hour. So not moving very slowly. And then as it approaches uh, the northeastern part of the U.S., going to Atlantic Canada, it will be accelerating quicker and so we've got more watches in place we already have that tropical storm warning in effect for bermuda so the cyclone will be passing to the west of the island so the worst of it should remain offshore however it will be close enough to induce those tropical storm conditions those strong winds at times that heavy rainfall which might trigger flooding and also those very rough seas which have likely been occurring there so uh, that should worsen as the cyclone passes heading to late tomorrow and into friday now now, as we head to this weekend, head into Saturday evening and Sunday, the system is going to be approaching North America. And so highlighted in yellow is that tropical storm watch. So a tropical storm watch is in effect for Watch Hill, Rhode Island, to Stonington, Maine. I hope I'm pronouncing these names correctly, by the way. Please forgive me if I don't. Uh, also for Block Island, Martha's Vineyard, and Nantucket. So those areas under a tropical storm watch. And then we've got a hurricane watch that is in pink in effect for Stonington, Maine, to the U.S.-Canada border. Order. So hurricane conditions, so such, condi uh, such conditions, hurricane and tropical storm conditions for those watch areas are possible within the next 48 hours or two days. And then there's that storm surge watch in effect for Cape Cod Bay as well as Nantucket. So due to the winds of the cyclone pushing the water on shore, the ocean water, that is what causes inundation of coastal areas or immediate coastal areas. This is not going to be an extremely strong system at the time because it will continue to gradually weaken as it approaches post-tropical or extra-tropical cyclone status. So it's not going to be as strong as it is now, but nonetheless, still a dangerous situation as those conditions are expected to bear down. So I will keep you guys posted on that. And then we've also got Hurricane Margo out there, a Cat 1 hurricane that is loitering around, not a problem for anyone. But then we head west of the Cabo Verde Islands to the uh, southwest. And here we can see that we've got this area highlighted, now given a 90% chance to develop within the next seven days and through the next 48 hours, a high 70% chance. So it's likely that as we head to this weekend, this will eventually become our next tropical depression and named storm once it reaches the threshold to become a named storm it will acquire the name nigel and i have really good confidence on that happening by this weekend maybe early next week the latest but this has been uh, developing nicely it is organized and much better and uh here we can look at it on the infrared satellite still producing that this uh that area of disorganized showers and thunderstorms but it is getting itself together and is looking a lot better compared to yesterday as a matter of fact so it should be that generally conducive environment to allow for further development. Matter of fact, as we go on to the model intensity guidance, here we can see that all available models expect that this will become a tropical storm likely by the next two days. Here we can see most of them in that green shading, which represents tropical storm force winds, but many of them take it beyond that, all the way up to major hurricane status. And I do not doubt that happening once the environment remains conducive out there, then it is likely that we will see it in fact acquire major hurricane status. Status. So a major hurricane, if you're not aware, is basically category three, four, or five. And so we'll see what eventually happens with it. But now we want to talk about the potential track of it. So looking at the model track guide, as we can see this general northwestward track expected. So there isn't a strong high pressure system centered over the central North Atlantic, which would typically steer our systems on that continuous westward track. So we've got our other hurricanes out there. So uh, as a result, there is some weakened region across the North Atlantic. So this is expected to remain well outside the Caribbean as per the track guidance. But as we look at the ensemble members, 
go into the GFS, uh, that black line, that is the mean or the average track when uh, all of these smaller ones are taken into consideration here. So we can see that some of these come a lot closer to the Caribbean than others. And really, this system is still pretty far out. So there are bound to be some changes or some adjustments made to the potential track of it. So we have to keep watching it. Some models even suggest that this could move further west and potentially impact Bermuda. So it might stay offshore of the US, but it might impact Bermuda. And again, there can be many changes with this in terms of the future track, but we're talking about a weather system here. We're talking about the weather on a whole, which is always changing. So we just have to keep watching it. And then as we head into the next several days, we should have a much better picture of what is ahead for the disturbance. But bottom line, it is going to become our next tropical storm within the coming days, acquiring the name Nigel. And then eventually a hurricane is anticipated by basically most models here and uh, eventually could also become a major hurricane which is cat 3 or higher and i will continue to keep you guys posted on the disturbance as time goes by so that is pretty much what i wanted to share with you in this update here and uh, i hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions as usual please do leave them in the comments i'll respond to you once i get the chance to do so and as always remember to be otherwise